Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nathan from AdaptingTheOutdoors.com and my YouTube channel. Um, I decided I was going to shoot a new video. I just tried it a few minutes ago, and the lighting wasn't right, so I decided I would reshoot. Uh, a couple days ago, I was talking to a buddy of mine who has their own TV show down in Tennessee. Uh, it's Rusty Rust and Dan Fermanac from Fishing Affliction. And I was talking to Rusty and I was telling him that I was having some trouble with my fishing line on my new baitcaster. Uh, I had bought a couple types of different floor, different types of fluorocarbon. And it just wasn't working the way I was wanting it to. I was getting backlash after backlash after backlash. And I just couldn't seem to uh, get it to work for me. And I thought, you know, I didn't know if it was the type of reel. I didn't know if it was the type of or the, the brand of line that I was using, or if it was just simply operator error. So I was talking to Dan and Rusty, and Rusty said that he would send me um, a couple types of fishing line that they used and see which one works best. So I looked in my mail today, and I actually got a package from the guys. Um, and when I opened it, I was actually pleasantly surprised because I was expecting just this little bitty box of fishing line. Well, I got this great big box, and there was more than just fishing line in the box. I have this really awesome Strike King hat. It says, keep that fish in affliction. I had to look at it to see it. <laughs> um, but as well as the the hat. I have three spools of fishing line, Tatsu Cigar fishing line. I have two um, spools of 10 pound test uh, cigar fluorocarbon, and then I have a spool of 12 pound test cigar fluorocarbon. Now, I was told by Rusty that these, that cigar Tatsu fluorocarbon is the best brand out there. So, on my next fishing trip, I will hopefully get to see that that is indeed the case. Um, along with the hat and three spools of fishing line, I got this Ziploc bag. Now, this is a gallon Ziploc bag full of fishing lures and <clears throat> fishing gear. It was so full, in fact, that they could not even close the bag. So I figured I would show you guys what all I got. To start off with, I have a package of Rage Chunks. It's a seven pack, and this is the Summer Craw color. I have another package of Rage Chunks, and this one is the Blue and Black Flake. Now again, these are, most of these are all going to be Strike King brands. This is the Strike King Rage Tail Rage Chunk in Blue and Black Fleck. I have the Strike King Rage Craw, also a 7-pack in green pumpkin. I have the Strike King Rage Hog six pack in June Bug colored. Strike King Rage Tail Rage Toads in green pumpkin. This is a five pack. This is a green pumpkin chartreuse. Now I rigged these up. These I have not actually caught a fish with these yet, but I haven't really had a lot of practice with these. These things are infused with a coffee. It actually says right there on my finger. It is infused with a coffee scent. So, and from what I understand, it drives the fish wild. We have Strike King Rage Tail 7 inch thumpers that are in the June Bug color. 
This one is a 10 pack. And last but not least in the Rage Tail category, we have the Rage Lobsters, which are in a five pack. And this is a watermelon in red and blue. Oh, excuse me, red and black. <laughs> And most of these, except for the Rage Frogs, the Rage Toads, most of these are typically um, jig trailers. Next we have the Strike King Kevin Van Dam Wild Shiner Bleeding Jerkbait. You'll use this on 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon and you'll want it to twitch in the water, kind of like you would a crankbait. KVD Sexy Frog. Can't go wrong with this. I have been wanting one of these for a long time. Next we have the KVD Splash Popper. Now it's just a regular old popper like you would use. So just use the twitching motion to get it to, to do its thing. This one doesn't say what color it is, but it's kind of a kind of a clear it's clear kind of and it's got a little bit of purple and yellow and green and a little bit of black along the top. Then next we have the Strike King Diamond Shad Crankbait. You can hear that rad one. Then we have the KVD Sexy Frog Jr. I have really been wanting one of these things. And I just can't find them anywhere. Walmart, my Walmart here in my town, does not seem to carry it. I don't I don't know if they don't carry it or if they just sell out of these things before I can find them or what the deal is, but I have not been able to buy one of these. So next we have the KVD Denny Brower. Premier Pro Model Jig. This one is a 3 8 ounce and it's in a, to me it kind of looks like a green pumpkin, almost a brownish color. And the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it has a rattle in it. You can, if you look really closely in the package, you can see where the rattle is connected to the hook. Next we have the Strike King Extreme Action Swimming Jig. This is just your typical swim jig. It's got a little blade on the top there. Then we have a mat punching jig. This is excellent for matted grass and deep cover, lily pads, that, that kind of thing. And last but not least in the uh, lure category, we have the Strike King Red-Eyed Shad. Let's see if I can lay down there. That's what that looks like. I'm actually really, really excited to get to try to, the, to fish with this one to see just what it will do. Oh, we have one more. Uh, this one here is the Premier Elite Jig. Again, that's got a little bit of a, a rattle to it. It's hidden up there between the, the jig head and the hook here. Now we have the uh, Mustad hooks, extra wide gap hooks. Both packages here are um, packs and they are 5 aught extra wide gap hooks um, over in my my bag over here I also have um, some Shadalicious swim baits that I have already rigged up on Mustad uh, swim hooks swim bait hooks with the adjustable weights that you just twist a little bit and it loosens them up and you can slide them down the hook wherever you want them to go and then on here, this in my hand is a size 4 um, 
Treble Hook. Also from Mustad. And as I mentioned before, I have the Strike King hat. So, um, I want to really thank the guys from Fish and Affliction for sending me all this good stuff. I really can't wait to get out and try it. And if you guys would like, you guys should really go out or get on YouTube and go check these guys out. Fish and Affliction. As I said, they have a show down there in Tennessee. I don't know what what station or whatever it's on for all you guys down there in Tennessee. Sorry. Um, but check them out on here on YouTube, Fish and Affliction. And also check them out on you on Facebook. Also Fishing Affliction. So uh, until next time, until I can get another video, uh, subscribe, like, comment. If you guys have any specific questions that you don't really want to leave in the comment section or that you have a suggestion for the show, you can always email me at lamerson.nathan at gmail.com or you can leave it down in the comment section. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment below. Other than that, I've got nothing. Have a good night, guys.